Hello, my little maniacs. This is your host, the Maniacs Gaming, coming back at you with some state of survival. And for those who don't know, let's just open this lovely thing up. Ignore Doug there. Um, some new updates have come out recently, so we are going to go ahead and go over a bunch of this newer stuff that has come out. I guess one of the main things that, if you'll look, you'll notice quite quickly is we now have this new thing that shows off our prosperity called Prosperin. As you can see, if you open this up just by clicking the Prosperin icon here, you'll see what your max prosperity is. And if you scroll down, you will see everything that can give you prosperity as well as the max prosperity can give you in its current if it's not already maxed. So what does prosperity actually mean and what does it do for you? Well, if you click here, you will see that what it is. So when your settlement is damaged, this will be a certain red area. Construction will not be possible while your settlement is in that damaged state. I mean, you will not be able to start new buildings. When you are stable, your prosperity is recovering. And when your settlement is prospering, you get a troop train speed bonus of 10%, as well as a resource production bonus of 20%. And your prosperity will increase at a certain rate if it's below the max. As you can see here, mine is 11,122 recovery rate. You can b build decorations. We'll open this up here. Decorations. And these actually will tell you how much they re they increase the pro prosperity rate in which you receive. Obviously, I'm perfectly fine with how my prosperity is right now. Alright, let's see if any of the crew are on. Let's see if anyone's on. I, they do know I am recording. Any of the crew here in the house? So we got a message. Doug saying that he'll be over in a minute. Nice, Doug. Nice. All right, so another new thing is one of the nice newer things that I've noticed. If we'll click on Alliance here, you'll notice that it this screen looks a little bit different. We now can click and see what our pa Alliance power rank is just by going into our Alliance menu. We no longer have to. The way it used to go was you have to go into your chief profile which also does look different, I'll talk about that in a minute, and click leaderboards, and then you actually have to click on Alliance, pa Alliance Battle to actually see where you're at. This is a new change that I like, and it also shows you your last Alliance Throwdown rank, as well as your Alliance Showdown tier, which is currently in beta in my state. And another thing that they finally did fix is that Alliance Tech now actually will tell you when you're good to donate again. Which, you know, that's always a plus. And then speed ups, they moved up here in the corner. So that's pretty nice. You know, they did change this up a little bit. Another big change that, unfortunately, we aren't seeing right now. Here, let me pull, see if I can find the update note for it. Update announcement, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where it's saying that the Alliance Showdown has been open in all states. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, in what will happen now is the infected horde will show up at your barricade and will be outside trying to break in. And you'll have a certain amount of time frame to click on it to destroy them. And, but the problem is if they get inside, they will actually destroy your prosperity. I did experience this earlier because I was having a bunch of problems with the logging in aspect, and it was just a nightmare in its entirety. But after that, you know, I got through all that ordeal. And when I came in today, actually, earlier today before I started recording, I noticed that my whole area, I could not see literally from the chat here all the way over like I could not see a whole lot of this like they completely like took out everything and it was all great it looked so depressing and they were a little bit everywhere 
And so I had to click on each one individually to destroy them. And also, I could not collect from my resource buildings because it would not allow me to when the horde was in. And, it, you know, it was this whole thing like I had to actually stop and do this in order to be able to protect my settlement, which I love that aspect personally. That's such a cool thing they've added to make it so that, you know, you're actually doing stuff other than just going up against other players, etc. Alright, so we're going to go ahead claim all our lovely troops here that we got going on. And another thing they did change is if you go into your train, well, well, yeah, it does this the first time, and you go to click upgrade, it has changed the amount of troops from up, that you can upgrade so that way you can upgrade more troops than you can train. If you look, I can only train 97 grunts, but I can upgrade 194 to the max rank, which is so much better now. Like, that makes it so much easier to be able to upgrade your troops. Like, let's see how I have all these level 1 troops. Well, when you know I'm going to want all, like, level... Let's say I get up to level 3, I want all my level 1 troops to come level 3s. That'll make it so much faster for me to actually be able to upgrade all of them. Which, you know, I did not get the chance to have on my big account, which was... Very, very annoying. You know, I had to go through and do it one by one. I have over 200,000 troops on that, so... God, that was a pain. Also, if you'll notice, we got a lovely color thing going on here. Hmm. Yes, these colors now represent the different strengths of your troops. White being the weakest. Green being the next. Blue being kind of in the middle. And then blue, purple being the second strongest, and then orange being the strongest troops. Which I like that because it does give more of a visual aspect. So you can just look at it real quickly and be like, yep, yep, I need this, this, and this. And also, if you go into your army camp overview, you'll see that all of them have changed too. So you can quickly see how many of each kind of troop you have, which that makes this so much better. Like, I personally love that. Another thing they did change, but we can't check this out yet, as I have not unlocked it, is they've done the intel post, which I believe unlocks it like chapter 2, part 2. So why don't we just go ahead and start grinding out the chapters, so that way, you know, we can actually go check that out. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, as we left off last time, Maddie's gone. Willie Tucker. Sadness. We're going to claim all of these. There we go. Claim that. Well, I didn't know better. I'd say some of those lurcher hordes are being directed somewhere. Would not surprise me, Sarge. It's an unnerving thought. Hopefully the doc will make a breakthrough soon. You can hope, Becca. You can hope. So we've upgraded the hero precinct already, so... Woo! And we've killed the infected. Woo! Upgrade a research lab. And headquarters. And formed an epic hero search. And did intel missions. And did intel missions. Oh, we actually have stuff we do. We need to research leadership one. Also, our incubator's done. We'll deal with that in a second here. Leadership one. Bam. Nine minutes on that. Woo. Oh, we do have these lovely things to do, so we'll accept all these real quick. There we go. There we go. Wasn't that easy, guys? We'll go ahead and collect our bio. We got 105. And just because I really like it, we're going to put all of the, my bio in there that we can. We'll get even more bio. Doug is here. We'll have some fun with Doug. How was plague? Why Doug's one of my favorites, guys? Don't tell him I said that. If anyone tells them that I said that, I'm gonna be mad at you. All right, so I. Th I think those are the two things that we... Yeah, research that. We need to get these lovely hero crates, which... All right, I guess next main thing we need to do... 
is some donation, which these help because they give you points towards helping your alliance out, gives you chief experience, and gives you alliance funds to be able to spend in the store. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. Bam, there we go. As you can see, funds. Yeah, funds. Which you can use in the line store to buy these different things that they have an option to. As you can see here, we've got actually a good variety, which I enjoy. You know, obviously there could be better stuff, but that's just the stuff we have available right now anyway. Oh, also, we got all this lovely stuff that we need to put in that we have not yet, so... For some reason, I don't know why we haven't put that in yet, which is kind of devastating to me. I haven't done this yet, but it happens, you know. There we go. We gotta. We can now get metal, guys, without having to raid it. have some fun with Doug. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade all of these to max. For f free as far as we can get them. Oh, apparently upgrade that. Eh, whatever. Since, you know, we don't need a build to actually be able to do these, so that makes this so much better. Alright, and go ahead... Do all that. Oh, got a few missions to do. Woohoo. That should get us our third reward crate right there. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. We can claim these. That works. Get a peace flare. Nice. Uh, da -da -da. I guess let's go do that. I guess. Let's go find stuff we can do. Uh, daily intel. That seems like a fun start place to start. Uh, no, we want to do the special intel, I think. So, we'll go ahead and do our lovely special intel. Uh, We'll send those guys out to do that, so that'll be nice. And we'll go home. Oh yeah, once this lovely thing's done with leadership one, we'll actually be able to... Oh, what's it called? We'll actually get another march. That brain went dur there for a minute. And, well, we'll go into this one too, so they'll be like, Yep, you have trackers now. Happens when I get locked out. It did happen, too. Like, I could not log into my account to literally do anything. Like, every time I was able to get in, it was like, Oh, well, <laughs> guess what? Not anymore. I was like, really? This is kind of annoying, but whatever. I know something I just have to deal with. Oh. But, oh, yeah, rapid growth, survival of the fittest, we're not doing any of this. Hero rank up, we're not doing that. Biker challenge, eh, we'll accept that. Get him some rewards from this, at least. Again, we don't spend money, my personal money, on the this one, so that's kind of useless to me right now. But, you know, guys, if you feel like donating, feel free, down in the comments. Well, down in the description, there will be a link to my PayPal. You guys can donate and support the channel. Really would appreciate it. And we do have the this lovely thing. We can train more troops at the same time. About time we get this. Another one, at least. Oh, curse you. Me and my thumbs. Am I right, guys? Go ahead. Get some training capacity going. You know, that doesn't seem like a lot, but if we go into here now, we can train 107 now, so let's go. 
And also, we got this lovely enlistment office we can use, which... Oh, gosh. How do I best explain this? Well, if we go inside. What happens is, when you lose troops in battle, you can... You, they sometimes will come here, and you can recover them. This usually happens when your hospital's full, and you keep losing them. They'll go into your enlistment office, and you can get them back, which makes this so, which makes life so much better. Well, it makes it easier to recover troops you lost, rather than you know, uh -huh, I'm out of troops, and they all because they all died because I got burned, and so I lost them all because I just had the hospital, and that was it. And it's like, oh no, what do you do there? Well, this office can save you. So we'll go ahead, do another one. I don't know if these actually count or not, but we're going to do them anyway. Do, do they count? Yeah, they do count, thank gosh. Alright, let's see. Alright, while we're waiting for that, oh gosh, no. Bad phone, bad computer tablet thing. Alright, let's go ahead. Take a look through update notes. Uh, oh yeah, they, there was a bug where we could, people could hear the game audio when it wasn't even on. That was a bit of an issue. Uh, let's see. Update announcement. Let's go here. Uh, alliance functions. Yes, you're allowed to better search for for, audi for alliances for newer members. That's pretty nice. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Increased max capacity for troop upgrades. Very helpful. <sighs> oh, that's helpful. The infected battle reports and reward mails have now been combined to make it easier for you to see. That's nice. Alrighty. I will, Doug. I'll just say I shall. Doug's a nice guy, guys. You know, if you don't know Doug, how do you not know Doug by now? He's like in every one of these videos. Like, come on. If you don't know Doug, you just haven't been watching my videos, clearly. Let's see, are they back yet? I haven't been paying attention. I don't want to get out here. They are back. Yay. Oh, hey, it's a close one. What do we got going on? Why is this yellow? We have a damaged tower. Who damaged our tower? I want to send troops there here in a minute. Can we actually look in the Alliance log and see who damaged our tower? I actually don't know about that. If not, that should be a thing. Alliance tower. Lucy! Why did Lucy attack our tower? Hmm. We can see who d did attack it, but why would she attack it? Hmm, I'll have to look in it. I'll have to ask about that here. We're gonna repair that tower just so it's, you know, similar. Everything looks fancy. Steve! Let's say hi to Steve! Steve is in the house! Let's go! We got the crew coming in! Oh yeah, I forgot. Research gives you points towards this too. And there we go. We have completed chapter one, part six. Let's go. Rusty, what is your lead, my dude? Becca, you're desperate. That is sketchy. He will, Becca. We'll take care of it. Mm -hmm.
We're under attacked by Willy. <laughs> well. Oh, hey. We get to watch an awesome scene. That's cool. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ambush! Willie lost literally almost his entire army from one attack. That's great. What up? How is the crew? We got the crew. We're all here. We're all healthy. That's always fun. Alright, so Willy has attacked us. Fun times, am I right, guys? And since we've done all this stuff, it's great. Bet Willy. Oh, I don't know. Where's Frank during all this? You know, the dog? And hey, we're in chapter 2, part 1. Alright, just to go over everything that we've had to do for this, we had to research Hunter Defense 1, complete Intel Mission 3, Task 7, complete Explorer Trail Challenge 12, and give more Alliance Timer helps, and upgrade our HQ to level 10. And we'll take this. We're taking a look at something. Let's look. Professor Hoffman. I think that's how you pronounce it. Klein has a terrible project? Oh, God. They really need to pronounce this for me so I know what it is, because I don't actually know. Ooh, a plague zone. Do we have to actually do it? Maybe not. But, okay, we get to claim all this. Just to go over again, reclaim land area 3, defense formations 1, explorer trail 2, challenge 3. Earn 5,000 points and reclaim land area 3. Ne fun time. I don't know, Sarge. Why is he wa warning us? Could be rusty. Sarge, I like you, though. I trust Sarge. Oh, hello. What about frequencies? Let's see. The... Ah, it happened. Ooh! Excellent work, Chief. Your intel post is now equipped with a military-grade radar system. The radar system has been installed with the assistance of the Final Hope. Use it to detect survivors and threats lurking in the wilderness. Final Hope has also sent you some rewards in recognition of your settlement's progress. Claim the rewards and activate the radar system now. Ooh, that's a nice one. Mm, hey, look at that. We'll have to take a look at this more in depth later. We got a radar level of 7. I like that. No more than one. Oh, hello. Getting better with you. Sip from my glass. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sounds like a fun time to me. Oh, what did I. <clears throat> it's too sensitive at times. Alright, so. We use these apparently for the last radar upgrade, so we'll just claim that. I like that. And. 
We killed those guys, so we'll claim our rewards. I don't think we get anything really nice. Oh, yeah. Rusty frags. Duh. And there we go. Alright. We still can... Alright, we st still said we could upgrade that, so I'm very confused on that. But now we got this lovely thing, which we will talk about more in another video in a minute here. We're gonna get stuff going. That needs to get going. Eh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Research, hunter protection. There we go. Always ready. We're always ready to kill some zombies, aren't we, guys? Alright, so now that we got... Where... Oh, yeah. They went to repair that, didn't they? They're still repairing that? Jeez, I'm, how long does it take to repair something? If it's going to take very much longer, dude, we're not going to deal with that. Can we... Jeez, uh... Info. 34 minutes. Oh my. Alright, let's... I'm gonna message Death here, see if he can get on to send his troops instead, because he's got a good more portion of troops than I do. So I'm gonna recall my troops. Just because, jeez, I don't have time to wait another half... all that time for that. Alright. Death said he'll get on for me, so... Yay, he can go repair that tower. So it'll just take a minute. We're just going to watch our troops come back. Because I do like how they do have it now. So you can see your heroes marching with. That's that's quite lovely, honestly. Oh, we never talked about this new screen. So I like it how now we can actually see... Well, bam. Con our kills that we get right here. We Then we click on the info button. And we can see battles we've won, lost. Attacks we've won and lost. Defense that we've won in our win rate in our recon count how many we've killed how many we've lost and how many we've healed as well as our battle power like i like how it's more concise like you know you can just look at it and be like yeah that actually looks really nice Let's do this. like i don't know about you guys but i really do like that look like i personally do enjoy this new look you know we got all these lovely experience Right here, I think we actually still got a bunch of... To, yeah, we still got some to use, so we'll use that. There we go. We'll just try to be... And when we're ready for our next level, we can be re We can go for it. Oh, we have troops that need to be healed. Alright, let's go ahead... Because I would really like to do this and get ahead of it while we can. We're going to go ahead and start upgrading all our troops that we can. See, 214 troops. That's That'll help in the long run. These, oh no. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I can't upgrade these to level 3. Because that's what I prefer to do. No problem. We can deal with that. We'll just upgrade everything to level 4 for them. That's fine. And, oh, yeah, that's a little bit. Wait. Huh. Why is this so much different than the other? Why are those two so much different than that one? Oh, uh, probably because that's going to level four. Or something. Or, is this a higher level? I'm just, like, stupid? No? Eight? Ten? Ten? I don't honestly know then. It's just something weird then, I guess. Oh, maybe I do have I have higher training space for the that one in particular, maybe? That is quite possible. Alright. Def said that he got on what he could. So, since we do have that time, we'll send what we can, the rest of our troops, to go help him. You know, be nice. Alright, there we go. And let us go ahead and just take a look at this, because I do want to talk about this. So, the radar does get different levels. Current. You know, and we do get, when we come level it up, we do get better intel quality. Like, in this one, we get a max intel of 7. As you can see, we have 7. But the intel quality gets better next at level 8 to rare, epic, and legendary. And we get a max intel amount of 8. So, one more. 
I believe it goes up to 10. Next level breakthrough. Oh yeah, we got to do all this fun stuff. Which we'll do. We will do. Alright, so there are two, three different types of missions. This one... You... For some reason... We'll get survivors, which give us new troops. Which would be nice. The regular kill the infected. Which give us these rewards. They change based on how strong it is. Like, as you can see, this one gives us these three items. Where if we go to the legendary one, it gives us these items instead. Or even the rare one gives us these items only. Like, it changes. And then we also have this one, which that is a squad exploration. Your, bo your squad goes out and goes and does damage. Which, I've tried them all out. And they're pretty fun, actually. Makes it, I like them personally better than the old ones where, you know, you just basically send your troops out and they just did what they did. So, you know, they're definitely working on the... Oh. I wish the intel would refresh and get rid of the old ones from previous days I haven't finished. I have eight explorer trails and I can't beat any of them, so I'm just stuck. Sad. Upgrade your heroes. Let's see if we have anything to do with our heroes since, you know, I see this lovely button. We can upgrade Sarge. Oh, we can find Eva and we can find Jane. That's nice. We'll, that, we'll do those in a separate video, though, so we can, like, focus on our heroes a little bit more. Because I do want to do that. And we're going to be having a lot more. Oh, that's sad. No combat manuals. Ouch. Do the trail? Oh, he said he can't do that. I don't know what to recommend then. That's definitely not a good position to be in. But, you know, it could be a worse position to be in. Alright, so all buildings fully upgraded. What? There's no way all my buildings are fully upgraded. Look at that! That's not fully upgraded, game. All available buildings are fully upgraded. What? What? I can upgrade all of these. I don't know what you are on, game, but you're on something. That's definitely a, a weird one, to say the least. Oh, can we actually f do this now, or do we need... Oh, yeah, we need to get this up to level 9. I know. It's so annoying. But, there we go. We got our base actually looking pretty nice now. We're advancing. Chapter 2. Let's go ahead and claim all this lovely stuff. We knew an intel mission... Four task three. So we'll start doing those. Oh god. Do it. Alright, so I guess we'll get that going on. We'll probably look at that a little bit next video, but we do have a bunch of other videos coming out soon. This one will be either going up tonight, my time, or first thing in the morning. <laughs> I can't blame you, Steve. I can't blame you. Alright, I'm gonna tell him to say goodbye. Alright. Finishing up. Say goodbye. Alrighty, we'll wait for them. Give them a minute before we go ahead and take off here. And if we'll go out into our world here just for a minute. Just for a minute. Cause I, know, I do want to show you guys. Dude, I've been recording for a while now. Dude, it's been a while. Dude, I've covered the update. 
dude, I've covered the update. Like, that was the main purpose of this video to cover that update. Like, jeez, can we? Yeah, we've been recording for a while now. I don't even know who you can. 33 minutes already. So, you know. Dude, I've covered the update. You know, we got stuff going on. Uh, you know, just for fun. Just for fun. Because, you know, I want to start doing this. That's why. Why what? Look, just for fun, let's take, take a look at where we're all at. So, the Alliance, personally, we're at rank 29. You know, as you can see, and Bloody Locust, strongest by far. Alliance kills, we're rank 87, we do. Let's just see if we're ranked on anything else. Solar rank, we are 8,895. Jeez, we're unranked in there. Yeah, I figured. The rest of these, I don't think we'll even be ranked. Oh, 7487, this one. I, I think that's pretty bad that we're a higher chief rank than players that we're but we have weaker battle power than them what <laughs> how how is that even possible I don't even I, I don't even know but okay I guess alrighty we give them give Steve a minute to respond just because I'm curious on what he's gonna say Let's just. So, yep. This update is massive. I'm sorry it took me a while to talk about it, but I wanted to be able to just look at it in full and just get the entire aspect of it. You know, I do enjoy all the lovely change. Let's see, does it fix it? I have no idea what what's going on with that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Update wasn't too big. Uh. Uh, troop changes, alliance menu, and intel, yeah, and intel are the main things. And then, you know, troop changes, alliance menu, yeah, so the main focus was definitely this Intel radar, because that they did put a lot of time and effort into, which I do enjoy. Like, you know, this makes it interesting. Um, how do I do the Intel missions now? Wait. How do I... Um. Huh. I don't know. I will have to figure that out. No, there was not a ton of updates with this one. Correct. I am going to have to um look into this cuz I don't know cuz you click intel that's it. Maybe if I just complete one of these, it calls it good now? No. Um. Hmm. That's an issue. Because if not, then I am stuck. Um. Let's try killing this level infected. This level 9 infected, I guess? Let's see. You must defeat level eight first. Okay. Attack. We don't even have our troops back yet. Gonna try. All right. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me for today. You know, we did the update video. I wanted to talk mostly about that update. You know, we did do a few other things. I'm gonna have to figure out this. I 
I don't even know anymore. Because where this whole thing updated, this whole Intel station updated, I'm going to probably miss the develop moderator about that or something. The mod or something about it. So, yeah, that's definitely something to look into. But um, if you aren't already... Oh, no, wait, I got another thing I want to talk about. So a couple of my subscribers have mentioned to me that I need to create social media just to start having a way to communicate with you guys. So I have decided that I'll create a Facebook page to start, and we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. So be looking forward to that. I'll probably have that link up in the next video. Not this one, but yeah, Facebook page, or I'll put it in the comments of that video. And you guys can go ahead and follow it and start liking that, and I'll try to get some exposure through that, hopefully. People will be able to see it, and hopefully, because, you know, I can comment on State of Survival videos and be like, hey, if you like to see a new perspective, you know, check out this guy's videos. He's pretty good. Check out my videos, you know. I'm walking through this step by step, you know, at least to the best of my abilities. So, that's all for now, folks. We covered the update. That was a good time. So, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And hit that notification bell to be get my notifications of all my videos. And donation link will be down in the description. Fe feel free to donate and support the channel. Support the game and the account as well. And I will see all of you later. Stay crazy, fam.